And hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is going to be my first month's wrap up of the loot crates that I got. I received a regular loot crate, and I also received the gaming loot crate. Now, last week I did not have quite have enough energy to put together the Thor Loki one, so I wanted to first show you that one, the way it looks. So, like, you had to stick the heads on. Nice little detail in here. So you have Thor and you have Loki here. So there you have that little piece. And... And now finally for... I wanted to do, like, a quick comparison of the two crates. The regular loot crate, of course, had Buffy... The bookmarks, the Stranger, the Stranger Things collectibles, uh, Thor and Loki. Uh, as you see, the Ghostbusters shirt I've put back on, and uh, and the pin that can each loot crate gets its own pin, and then of course the uh, gaming. So, so obviously you see the shirt right now. I will show you guys the collection of. of the regular loot crate, as you see right here. You have the bookmark in the middle, the dagger, the thorn, the Loki, and you have the Stranger Things, and then of course his shirt. And that part I felt was, well, and overall I felt like I got my money's worth, felt a shirt alone is worth the money's worth, is um, worth the, the 18.50 I spent. And then, to show off what I got from the gaming crate. And this was a Diablo shirt from the gaming crate. And here you have the Pop Games vinyl figure, the Space Marine. Along with the pin, shot glasses, playing cards, and Lords of Daedra Skyrim book. So, in this particular case, I like for the October crates, despite the higher price that I paid, ultimately I feel like I got more out of the gaming crate than I did the regular crate. I feel like the gaming crate was a little more stacked. Obviously, a regular price cost an extra six bucks, but the discounts, um, I spent eighteen fifty on the regular crate, 32, a little over 32 on the gaming crate, so there's almost $14 difference. But, um, the only thing out of the regular crate that I liked more was the shirt. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy the Diablo shirt, but I like the Ghostbusters shirts better. But the stuff that were not, that was not the shirts, I felt like the, like I liked the Skyrim book, I liked the playing cards, the pin, the shot glasses, and the figure better than the stuff I got out of the regular crate. So, for so for keeping score at home, I feel like I got ultimately got the better deal out of the, the gaming crate. So, I'll put the description box in, uh, in the, like, for each of the original unopenings, and And there you have it, folks. And then I'll be back again next month, opening up the November crates. Uh, I know I'm behind on the game, but I'm literally doing these as I receive them. Because I'm in Canada, they ship from the States, so it takes, it takes them longer to go through customs. And I know it's a pain in the butt, but what can you do? So, this is Naboxid logging off, and stay tuned. I'll have at least a couple more months of this to do.